Hi Divas! I have some Christmas joy for you. This is the sneak peek for Saturday. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. One is Magic Christmas by All Claire Studios, and one is Christmas Lane by Dona Geisinger. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show them to you. Let's start with the smaller one first, then we'll get to the bigger one. They are both square diamond paintings. And, oh my gosh, the one is so cute. Oh, they're both so cute. Okay, I can't wait to show them to you. Okay, so you know the first thing we do is take off the protective plastic. And this is a 22 by 27 inch, which is 55.8 by 69.0 uh, centimeters. And it's Magic Christmas by All Claire Studios. Okay. It's a good size, a nice little size. Here is the sticker. The little sticker you can put on the end of your box or on a notebook, that kind of thing, to let you know more about the painting. Here is the kit. I'll open one of the two kits. They're bound to be the same, although I will show you the goodies in the other kit, the um, specials in the other kit. As always, you get a tweezer, a sharp tweezer with Diamond Art Club um, square paintings. You get a random color pen and squishy. You get a heart with two hearts of wax. You get a boat with a stopper on it so that when you shake the when you shake the drills, they don't come off lying out. And you get two multi-placers. One's a four and one's a seven. Four's my favorite. And you get a bag of baggies. Plus, you get two little goodie items. In this one, and they are randomly placed in there. The ones that I get with my kit may not be the same ones you will get with yours. But I just wanted to show you. This is a little glass flower. And again, a cover minder has two magnets on the back. One goes underneath your painting, and the other goes when you flip the plastic back, you snap it down to hold the plastic in place um, away from the work that you're doing. And you get a random washi tape. Just wanted to remind you, if you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, there is a 15% discount uh, using the code Wanda's Work Basket. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Roses. I haven't had that in washi tape before. All right. Yes, you can use a 15% discount using uh, my code Wanda's Work Basket, and that is for your very first Diamond Art Club purchase. On every box, you will get a, you know, a thank you scan me code for 10% off. You can find 10% off in various places. Other creators have other um, discounts and you will find discounts in lots of places. There are very few 15% but let's see get this back together here. Okay on your packing slip I wanted to show you there's usually a buy one get one at some percent off uh, on here as well on your packing slip so don't forget you have one there as well all right let me back you out magical Christmas I was so excited to get these by the by so excited oh how pretty Already, you have a blue-black night. I can see some three tens in the background here. Ooh, a gingerbread house. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It has 61 colors. It has a special. I think there's a fairy dust in here. 
And it has one, two, three Aurora Borealis colors. All right, look at the wreath. They're gonna look like they have lights. Oh, neat. Very, very cool. One of them is an Aurora Borealis, the white Aurora Borealis. But we'll get to that in a moment. Oh my gosh, look. Look, 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 look. A snowman and snow globe. Isn't this gorgeous? If you've seen Diamond Art Club paintings before, you know that on the bottom there is a thumbnail of the picture the way it is meant to be and all the pertinent information about the artist that it is licensed to and the Diamond Art Club inventory number and the title and the size, the hashtags for social media down below. You can even get some points toward your um, Diamond Art Club next purchases if you put your finished projects up on social media. And your warranty for uh, missing, if you have any missing diamonds in there. And you have the schematics on both sides. Let's see. Oh my gosh, isn't this pretty? It's got a Victorian house over here. Glowing windows. I'm really curious to see how this, how this is, looks like glass. It looks like a storefront. Snow on the ground in the snow globe, a big Christmas tree with a little package. I like this snowman's little doggy over here. Cute. Very cute. Another little Victorian house over here. And icy trees in the icy wind. Oh my goodness. Like a blizzard conditions. You have a, a moon in the background and the moon, the light is glinting into the picture this way. Um, I'm hoping you'd, I'm having trouble with light. That's my light bar here, like it's coming through the blinds. So I'm trying to stand in front of that so that you don't see that. Uh, occasionally I'll slip, but that is not part of the painting. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. And I, I just wanted to remind you that it is a, a soft-backed canvas, and it has a pinked and poked edge. That's what I call it. It just means that it's against fraying. And, uh, oh man, how beautiful, how beautiful. Shall we, okay, look at the other things that came in the kit. Again, this is your first time with the Diamond Art Club kit. You'll know that you, you it, well, you'll know now that you get a thank you booklet that's included. It gives you um, all the ingredients and tips and tricks and how-tos. And again, there's another thank you code for 10% off your next purchase. And it gives you a QR code to join the VIP group. And it gives you some QR codes for the Diamond Art Club app. That is like the easiest way to keep on top of what comes out every week at the time that it comes out. Um, Diamond and Ruby members get a half an hour early jump at what goes on for sale every Saturday. So here is the big sticker you get. It includes the uh, a gorgeous rendering of the artwork and other information. This is one whole sticker on this side. On these are all individual little stickers and what you do is you peel them up and you use them for when you kit up and kit down, which means when you get ready for diamond painting and when you put it away. Each individual little sticker has the sequence number on it, it has the symbol on it, and it has the uh, color code, the DMC color code number, so that if you save your drills, you can put them back together. I'm a visual person. I love these little code, um, these codes on here that match the codes on the canvas. All right, so now I'm gonna bring you in and show you the drills. I like to cut them apart in strips so that they fit back into this little plastic bag much easier. So that's how I'm going to do it now. Okay, now I will show you the, the actual drills. Just a smidge closer, if you will. Okay, there's some beautiful blues. Orange and blue. 
You have the deep pine greens and the pans. And there's a taupe, a rusty color, and a green. Some more, like a purple, purplish rose color. Oops. I know some of you like to see the DMC numbers in it. Let's see. I'm doing my best to get them, get the numbers all in here. Sometimes you'll see a little hitchhiker or two. That's just another little color that in the process of filling the bags, they sometimes hitch a ride with a different color. <laughs> so we affectionately call them hitchhikers. <laughs> That can't be helped. That's just a machine factory type of occurrence that will happen at random. You don't have to be afraid of Diamond Art Club squares. They are as near perfect as you can get them. Diamond Art Club has their own factory to create the squares and they are beautiful. They line up perfectly. The graph that you put them on really accommodates them quite well. It may look like they are a little bit, um, a little bit um, further apart than you'd like them, but for some reason the glue seems to cinch them all together. It seems to, you know, align them correctly. Believe it or not, it really does uh, work on the alignment. Now I want to show you the Aurora Borealis diamonds, and we have the white. We have a 121 yellow and a 108 green. Now these are Diamond Art Club numbers for them. They are not the uh, actual DMC color code numbers for them. Like I believe this is a 5200 white, I believe. Okay, and you can see the shine, the rainbow shine on top of that Aurora Borealis drill. That's what makes them super shiny, but I want to show you the <clears throat> Fairy Dust Diamond. Now, this has little tiny flecks of diamond dust type stuff on them. It gives it a different kind of shine. It doesn't change the color at all. It doesn't reflect other colors. It just gives it a super shiny appearance. Okay, so you can see a shine on them, but without it changing the color like an Aurora Borealis might. Let's find out where they go on the painting. Let's see. Let me bring it out here. And let's find our first number which would be the green 108. That would be the number one. I see the number ones in the tree here. Definitely in the tree, the lighter green of the tree. And I see it in the boughs of greens along the sides of the house and up into the peak of the house's roof. That's it, that's where I see the green. Okay, the next color, the number twos would be the yellow. So I'm looking for number two. What would be number two up here? Let me see. Number twos are in the windows, are in the, the star at the top here and um, in the windows themselves. Uh, a little bit down here in this house window. across the top of the globe, anywhere the sun reflects off of. And even as, this, as the moon, I'm sorry, the moon reflects off onto the snowman, there's some twos along here and along here where it reflects, and there's a little bit of two down here as well in the snow. Okay. And the two is also reflected in the cloud work right underneath the moon here. Very nice. And as I suspected, the 5200 dot, the white, it is the snow. Uh, you see the snow in the snow globe. These little dots are all 
the white ABs, the little white dots within the, the work here. The, the boughs of the greens are. The actual snow in the painting is not. Hmm, that's a, a creamy, a creamier white. And there's glow around the moon. That is the AB, the white AB. That's nice. I might have put some of these as the white AB, but I guess I didn't want them to differentiate between that and the lights. They didn't want the snow and the lights to be confused because um, I, get, I understand that. Most of the focus is right here. Is right here with a little bit of a glow. What about the top of the snow here? Nope. That's the snow color. All right, well, what about those fairy dust diamonds? What about those? They are, they look like that sideways eye symbol. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I have some fairy dust in the scarf of the snowman. In there, for sure. There's not too many of them. So that might be it, actually. There's some in the bow on the wreath here. And that's it. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. We have the fairy dust in the bow there and in the scarf of the snowman. So most of the focus is right here with a little bit on the snowman and a little bit up there at the moon. And that's the entirety of the painting. Isn't that cute? So cute. I would be happy to have that hanging near my Christmas tree. So cute. All right, let me pack this one up and then show you the next one. All right, and here's the second one. Christmas Lane by Dona Geisinger. It is a 26.6 by 36.6 inches, which is 70 by 93 centimeters. It is a square. Here is an up close of the little mini sticker. You can see some of the details in there in the sticker here. Okay, and before I take it out of its, unroll it for you, I wanted to show you the kit is just the same. And, oh, here it is. Here is the cover liner that I received with this one. The color of the pen. All this is the same. And I have a different washi tape. Surprising they didn't don't have a Christmas washi tape to go in there, but they're pretty. And again, washi tape you can use on the sides of your canvas. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's see this gorgeous painting. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. This does look like a Victorian village. It looks almost French with the, the little portico and the um, awning on the top here and a street light. And you have all the garlands. You have the snow falling. It looks like a, um, a church steeple or some kind of steeple in the background. You have a bakery and a toy shop here. You have one of those center squares that where the street goes on opposite sides, and you have one of those really neat buildings in the middle. It looks like a marquee sign hanging here. Um, you have a window at the toy shop here as well, and lots of greens and garland on that door. You have lots of greens. You have a center Christmas tree and another light on that side. And, oh. Oh, you've got more of these gorgeous pets. You've got a cutie puppy. You've got a guard, uh, cardinal pair, a male and a female cardinal. You know, they mate for life. Do you know that? Cardinals mate for life. Yes, and there's a sled against a railing here leading into the toy store. And this snowman has stick arms and a bright red scarf and a top hat, of course. And uh, lights, this is a little garland of lights around a sign pole that says hot chocolate. Or let's see, I'm not sure what that says. This is Christmas Joys. 
Oh, Slay. Slay something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's his Slay. S L E I G H. Bells? But it looks like part of the sign is like, uh, there's like a light in front of that part of the sign. I don't know. I think I would have worked on the the um, the writing there a bit more. But, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at it, look at it, look at it. And again, that's my light. I'm trying to stay out of the, trying to hide the light for you. Oh, look at that. All the way up to the top. Isn't that beautiful? The snow falling, the evening sky, the lights of the street are on. Oh yeah. And all the way back down to the snowman and his friends down here by the toy store. Can you just smell the bakery wafting in the background? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh my gosh, I can. Okay, let's see what the other goodies. Again, you have the, the thank you booklet that comes in with it. And you have the big sticker. And gorgeously rendered. This has 62 colors. It has two fairy dust. And it has one, two, three, four, four Aurora Borealis. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, I love the detail in this. It's huge, but I love the detail in this. Um, a lot of times you get more detail in the squares and you get more detail in a larger painting than you do in the smaller ones. That's why some of these gorgeous paintings are so big. Uh, it would really muddy, especially muddy the, um, the writing if it made it any smaller than that. So let's open the drills. You'll notice that each drill pack has a sticker on it that tells you what kit they came from. So that if you separate your canvas from the drills at any point, you can mix them back up, you put them back together fairly easily. I want to show you before I show you the drills what you can do with the washi tape. <clears throat> There's a slight sticky edge around the edge of the painting where the glue overlaps. And a lot of times um, we put the washi tape right up against the edge to cover up that extra sticky part. So it keeps the, you know, any pet dander or hair or whatever off the edges of the canvas. It also gives you a nice sharp edge to butt those square drills right up against to make them a nice even course. If you put it across the corner like that and start in the corner, you have a nice square start to your painting. Another way, a third way is to... Uh, section off your canvas in sections. This would be neat to start in Advent and separate 24 squares. You know, separate it into like, it's like, okay, eight times three is 24. So I would divide it by three going this way. Okay. And eight going the other way. And then you have a square a day that you can work on. You just cut the plastic off of that square, and that's it. That's the square a day that you can work on for that. That would be fun. So that right up until Christmas, you would have that. Now, I'm going to take the tape off of here. Uh, one thing about washi tape that's great is that it is easily repositionable. Alrighty, I'm going to put that away, and then I'm going to show you the drills. Now I'm going to show you the colors that are in there. Look at that dusty blue. It's almost like, um, I don't know, like a, a light lilac type of thing. It's a blue-purple. I don't know. As recently as this week, my son says I don't know my colors really well. So <laughs> if you disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. Okay, these are a teeny tiny amount of these colors. So you really have to search for them. 
Look at that bright orange. Oh, and that that fuchsia pink. Wow. Hot pink. We have some taupes and browns. I imagine some of them are the puffy. Some of them are in the light. Oh, I like that. Purples are in the sky. I can see the purples in the sky. I love a purple sky. Look at these colors. I do apologize if there's a little bit of trucking noise going past the window. I cannot help that. I get rid of as much of that in editing as I can, but it's not always possible. Those trucks are loud and we live near a quarry. Unfortunately, and the trucking company, an 18 wheeler trucking company too. So I have no control over the traffic. I do apologize. Don't you love it? In Christmas, like when it snows outside, if you're from an area that gets snow, when the earth gets so blanketed and it, it's like all the echoes stop and the sounds start to fade and it feels like you're walking on a blanket. One time in high school, my um, soon my uh, eventual husband, <laughs> um, he had a car in a local car shop. And we had to walk to go get his car after school, which was maybe, I don't know, about eight blocks or so from the school. And it snowed, and it made that blankety, um, that blankety softness that covers the world when it snows. And it was so romantic. We just held hands and walked in the snow and caught snow on our, on our tongues. And giggled because you know because <laughs> that's what that's what young loves do right they giggle okay so we have let's see four aurora borealis I want to show you them in the order that they are okay. <clears throat> the 107 red and again these are not DMC numbers they are um, DAC numbers. <laughs> Diamond Red Club. You have two of the yellow. I imagine they're going to be in the lights. And then you have a little bit of the frosty green. Then you have two fairy dust diamonds. You can't really see the glisten effect on the camera, but they do glisten. That's one of them. And then you have a lot of the glistening snow here. Oh, I love it. This is going to be the snow. I, well, maybe. <laughs> yes, it will be. It'll be a lot of the snow. Fairy dust snow. Oh, I love it. Put this near a, um, a light in your house and oh my gosh, it will be just so gorgeous. Okay, let me pull you out again and let's see where we're going to put those special drills. All right, so we know that the red is number one. Where are the number ones? I see some number ones in the lights here. I see some number ones in the scarf, the uh, trim on the scarf, the fringe. And here in these lights, in the scarf, there's some on the cardinals. There's some on the edge of the sleigh. There's some in the toys. There's some in the red lights on the trees. In the bow up here by the light. I see it in the awning. Um, all on this marquee sign and in this bow. And the toys is like neon, and in this bow here, a little bit on the awning, and in the bow at the top. So that's where your red ones go. See the bow at the top? 
on that wreath right there. Okay, so the second AB. Okay, the second AB is this blue one. Now let's look for the number twos. Where do we see the number twos? Okay, the first I'm seeing the blues are in the tree, the lights in the tree. The scattered lights in the tree. There's a little bit in the shop window. And there's some twos down here on the lights on the sign and below the sign. That's where the twos are going to go. All right, the number threes are going to be the yellow, the yellow AB. Where do we see three? Three is in the yellow lights, of course. That makes sense. There's a little bit reflected on the edge of the snowman here. And on the edge here and in the walkway across the the snow. Yeah, I, I don't know about making yellow snow, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have made it um, a pale peach color or something, but I know lights reflect yellow. Um, maybe I would have made it a little blue, but I can overlook that. Um, it does reflect the lights and it is in the lights themselves. It's in the tree here. It's in the middle of these lights on this tree and the garland. It's in the center of the windows. It does reflect the light. It's on the top of the windows over here. It's in this railing and in this doorway up in here in the sign. It's in the star at the top of the tree for sure. It's in the lights around it, at the top here, in the windows, in the lights themselves, and up here. Let's see, okay, the green, which would be the number four. Let's look for the green number four. And as predicted, they are in the green lights. They are in the sign here in the green lights. Let's see, where else would the fours be? Where else would the fours be? Are they in the trees? No. They're definitely in the lights on the tree, so at least it's consistent. The Aurora Borealis are definitely in the light areas where all the light is reflecting. I do like that. Um, not necessarily in the greens and garland, but anywhere that there is light reflecting. Let's see. No. No, it's in the lights in particular. It's in the lights in particular. Okay. All right. That's where the green is. Now, <clears throat> let's find the fairy dust. This fairy dust is, okay, a slash. So this goes right where the th near where the threes go in the lighting itself. In the lighting itself. And there's one on the dog collar. <laughs> in the doorway. In the lights on the garland all over the lights in the garland. I like that, all over the lights in the tree and the lights in the big Christmas tree, all in here, all in the windows, in the lamps, all in these windows, in this lamp, And up here under this wreath in this lighted window. Up here. So that's good. All right. Now we have the white fairy dust. And that is just the dot. And that is all over the entire painting. It is all the falling snow. It is all the snow that lay on things. 
that's dusting everywhere, that's laying in little clumps. It's in each of the lights. It's across the top of the buildings. It's on the ledges of the awnings. See, little dots everywhere. It's like the snow coming down. It is scattered all over the trees and in the background, down the garland. It is on top of the sign where snow would normally lay on the sign and falling. It's in the light. It's in the snow here, underneath the cardinal, on the lamp post here, all over the actual snowy ground. And of course, the light reflecting off the snowman is all the shiny fairy dust. And across the bottom here, underneath the light spread. Yes. Oh, how beautiful. How absolutely beautiful. This is incredible. Look how gorgeous that snowman smile is. I love the cardinals, the toys in the toy store, the bright lights, this beautiful tree, the Victorian atmosphere, the bakery sign. It just makes you smell cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Uh, my work basket knows when I say cookies, I know what I mean. <laughs> if you want to join me, Wanda's work basket cookie recipe um, exchange, put one up on our Facebook group. We'd love to have your submission too. Oh, that's beautiful. And in the big star at the top here, and of course the snow at the very top. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty. This is Christmas Lane by Dona Geisinger. Very pretty. Well, here were your two Christmas sneak peeks for this weekend. I hope you catch yours if you want them. And oh, I'd love to see them when they're finished. Uh, let me know in the Work Basket Fake Facebook group if you purchase either of these. And especially let me know if it is your first time purchasing from Diamond Art Club. I would love to know that as well. If there's anything you would like to see on these openings that I don't feature, please let me know that as well. And I wish you a blessed Thanksgiving season for those coming up in November um, in uh, <clears throat> the States. And happy Halloween coming up in next week. And uh, especially happy, beautiful holidays to come. Peace and joy be everyone's. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.